yeah, Fred, listen. Yeah, I know. I love the show, too. It's a great show. But I'm not doing branded content stuff. I'm a dream writer. Like, that's not my job. You're going to pay me how much? Okay, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll call you when it's done. I'm starting now. All right. All right, yeah, bye. Exterior street day. Oren materializes and begins walking down the street without questioning how he got there. After a few seconds, he accidentally collides with... Fred Armisen? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's me. I'm like a, I'm a really big fan of Portlandia and like I really love your show and everything and it's like really nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Seriously, that's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, I mean, if I could just get my girlfriend to watch Portlandia too, like, that would, that would be awesome. I mean, everybody should watch Portlandia. It's a fantastic show. I mean, if she doesn't watch it, yeah, she should watch the show. Everyone should watch Portlandia. <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah. Actually, now that I think about it, you don't really look like Fred Armisen. <laughs> Me? Me? I'm the most Fred around here. Yeah, I mean you kind of you kind of look like me, but you're 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 wearing like a shirt and like glasses. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to argue with Fred Armisen. Uh, yeah. So, do you want to be the um? You want to be the head writer of my show? It's really the least I can do after you complimenting my uh, shirt and show and everything. I mean, yeah, it's a great shirt, but. What? Yeah, so we'll have you start Wednesday. Um, so what you'll do is you're gonna take this copy um, of uh, The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Wilde. Actually, most people don't know this fun fact, but it was actually written for this particular moment in time. So yeah, so just follow uh, page uh, 398, I think it is, and it'll tell you where you need to go. Yeah, I mean, The Brief and Wondrous Life of Oscar Wilde, I mean, isn't it about, like, um... <laughs> just remember the footnote, okay? Wednesday. Page, uh, I don't remember the page. Um, this is all for you. The fate of the universe is in your hand. Everything exists for you. Interior. Fred's office. Later. So, what's the deal with, um... <laughs> don't worry about him. He's just a plot device. You can call him Scott. Oh, okay. Hi, Scott. So, so we've been sitting here for about six hours now, and now that I've sufficiently looked deeply into your soul, do you have any questions? Um, yeah, Fred, I guess. I mean, I've always wanted to ask you about it. <laughs> there is no Fred, only Zool. Was that, was that Ghostbusters? Uh, Dustbusters? No, a Dustbuster is a diminutive vacuum cleaner. Ghostbusters was a 1984 film written by Harold Ramis and Dan Aykroyd. Well, let me get this straight. So these dustbuster people capture ghosts like a Dyson vacuum cleaner man? What? I suppose the Dyson ball vacuum man also captures these ghosts. Is he a ghost too? No, Wikipedia says he's a Taurus. What is happening right now? People don't talk like this in real life. Psst. Ignore the references. Listen to me. This is a dream. What? Harold Ramis was in year one with Jack Black! Ew! No! I mean, yeah, but Harold Ramis also wrote- Don't say it! Groundhog Day. Oren reverts to his earlier state and forgets everything that was said before. That makes sense because of dream logic. People don't talk like this in real life. He just groundhog dayed you. You don't remember me. What? Fred pulls out a gun. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> ah! Fred! Your dream writer. He's using the plot of other movies because he's too lazy to come up with anything original. That kind of makes sense. There's no time. The dream's collapsing. Just head to the Being John Malkovich tunnel and write, Don't trust his lies on your arm. That way, when they wipe your memory, you'll remember everything. Okay, but... Mr. Anderson? Bang. Bang. Bang, 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 bang. Just 
go. I'll hold him off. Then I just got just dumped on the New Jersey Turnpike. I mean, that's not exactly how I wanted the story to go, but that's like kind of interesting. I'll take it. Yeah. It was... Everything just feels weird. Kind of like a dream. <laughs> dream. <laughs> Fries? No! Hey! What's going on? Just all in good time, alright? We only have a little bit longer until you wake up and I gotta stop all that. Uh... What's happening? What's my... Okay, uh... Okay, what is the most resilient parasite? A bacteria? My... Me, according to my ex-wife? An idea. Once an idea gets in there, it's impossible for it to get out. It's all... It's all a dream. Why? <laughs> Why don't you ask yourself? <laughs> 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 Weird, 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 weird dream. It's okay. Go back to bed, sweetie. Yeah, I definitely can't sleep after that. Can we, can we watch something? What do you want to watch? I don't know. I mean, we could watch Portlandia finally. Yeah. Yeah, fine, I'll finally watch it with you.